I am not going to lie to you guys, alt arts are just absolutely insane right now. But what I'm going to have for you guys in this video is if you're interested in the Umbreon, the Charizard, any of these big cards, I'm going to have alternate cards that you can pick up for good prices that still have upside, right? Um, so this is what happens. This card runs up, right? Um, these cards get unattainable to a lot of people. Um, people are looking for the next investment or just for collecting either one you go to the next lowest card um, this happens in sports cards all the time the rookie card becomes unavailable you go to the second year card the third year card it's very common Pokemon's on this very cyclical I've used a carousel analogy you know um, you, the people are jumping onto the next thing right so obviously the big dog the Umbreon right like look at these just look at these prices look at the 75% up right absolutely insane I'm sure you've seen other videos about this. Then there was the Umbreon V, right? Um, still a lot more affordable. Okay, I'm not saying that this that necessarily you should be buying this card at this price. Okay, but this is just an alternate. Okay, then there's this Umbreon V, this Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery. Now, you know this has on been on quite the rip. Um, so same thing. But if you're just collecting, there's a lot of room here. Okay compared to compared to the the moonbrion right um same same story with this card okay another brilliant search trainer gallery um i actually like the other one a little bit more personally um but much more affordable then if you guys want to play keep playing that game you know kick the can down the road here you go um not as rare of a card obviously so price is going to be you know less on that but Still a great looking card, still a VMAX, right? Um, and this is from Evolving Skies. So um, this is a cheap card. Um, this has room to run. There's nothing to say that this that this card, when you look at this card, why can't this be a $10 card? Easily could be at least a $10 card. The the boxes, if the boxes keep going up and the, uh, the Umbreon keeps going up, why couldn't this be a $20 card? I mean, it's a great looking card. You know, I don't know... Um, I haven't looked at like pop report for graded of this card or anything like that, but, um, you know, five bucks. Um, so just something to think about. Um, next up we have the, uh, the good old Giratina and you guys know that, um, I like the Giratina. I have this card in a 10, I'm not looking to sell it, staying in the PC, but, um, it's very expensive right now. And in a 10, I mean, we're like, we're about to crack $500. It seems like 460, right? Um, well, we did crack 500. Somebody bought one for 500. So there you go. Um, PSA 10 sales are over a thousand. You're looking for an alternate? Let's go next, next down the line. Now this is going to crown Zenith, but a lot cheaper. Even down here, near mint $110. Okay. This card is actually sick. This card's dope guys. Um, crown Zenith. I think crown Zenith is going to be one of the next sets. Give it some more time specialty set no booster boxes you know so won't have the booster box hype of selling out on the pokemon center but like crown zenith is real good so just telling you guys right now the giratina gold is dope it's like when you go from this one this is this is like it could be argued i could see how people could argue that this is like a better card like art art wise um and then there's not a, like a ton of option after that but we'll take a look um you're in the 15 to 20 dollar range here 15 bucks right um so it's a gold it's a gold giratina so it's it's more rare um it's not as cool of a card but um you know when 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 the big cards run the little cards fall okay um not the most popular card but if you're looking to chase the giratina you know there it's an option for you okay um i don't think personally i'm going to be going with this if if i can i'm going to dip more into this this Tina, but, um, that's just me personally. There's nothing wrong with picking up and there's a few lesser Giratinas as well, but, um, I didn't think they held enough merit to make it into this video. Um, then you have the Charizard. I've been hyping up the Charizard. Um, I'm not looking to, I have two of these in a 10 just for transparency, not looking to sell them. Um, I think this card has lots of room to run. Um, still like this artwork is, I just say the artwork is too good. Okay. If this is out of your price range, nothing wrong with that right um i'll give you guys a few options um coming up so i know this card guys i know this this isn't like the nicest card but i really like this card 
a lot of people are like, oh, Charizard is being cute or whatever, and it doesn't sell. Think whatever you want. I like this card. I think this is a, this is a great card, and I think at $4.13 that this card has room to run as well. If you guys look at this card and you think, like, well, some of these cards are hard to grade. So if you're looking great ability aside, can this card be a 10? I don't see why it couldn't. Why not? Okay, so that would be going from 4 to 10. It's a big gain. So um, I'm not saying that it is. Okay, that's just just a possibility, right? Um, now this is a more expensive, um, but this is Brilliant Stars. Um, I'm, you know, not the biggest fan of the Rainbow cards, but um, you can see that. And this card's down. This card's down right now. But as Brilliant Stars boxes continue to run, that that Charizard continues to run, you never know. Okay. Um, I still think this is a cool card. Like, great pickup. Um, so when compared to the other Charizard, right? Um, what else do we have here? Okay. Now this card is the promo, right? From the, uh, the Charizard box, but artwork wise, absolutely great. Absolutely stunning. Like I love the, the battle. Then they have the Mewtwo as the, the other card, right? But, um, so this card as a promo is like widely available and super cheap. Um, but that doesn't mean that this card like isn't cool and isn't a, isn't a nice card to have. Um, so yeah, you're like 10 bucks on this card. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, I still think if you're looking for a cool Charizard, it's a cool Charizard. Okay. Um, then you got the big old Gengar. Gengar has been seeing a, just like everything else up 30% on the last three months. Um, we got lightly played selling for 350 right now. So this chart seems a little off. Um, crazy. Yeah. Um, super cool card. Um, I do like this. I don't have this card at all. Um, would like to get one. Um, I don't know if I can. there's just, there's so many great cards to get. Like how can you decide? Right. Um, but say you want the Gengar and you can't afford it like me. I like this card. It's another one. It's kind of like the Charizard trainer gallery, lost origin. Um, this card has seen a tick up as you guys can see. Um, you could have gotten it for like two bucks. Now it's up in the threes. But same thing. Why can't this card be a five ten dollar card? I think it totally can. Like, it's 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 a cool card. Great artwork. Gengar is nice and big here. Um, I don't think it's gonna be the most valuable card ever. But um, also, if you want to scratch that Gengar itch, this one with the tongue and everything, and the big open mouth, like this card has obviously gone up a bit, right? Like seven eighty right now. But this really gets the uh, the other alt art like vibes right so you kind of get that accomplished um it's not as good but like is it is it that much less like in price wise that it's like not that good i don't think so so i think this card same thing like everything else has some room okay give you guys another option like another rainbow this is um team up a more expensive card though right but if you're looking at the really expensive um and there's mimic in here so it's a little bit different but i just wanted to you know, give you guys another option um, to look at here. Um, I don't know what's going on with this sale right here. This is a near mint at 36 bucks. But anyways, you're looking at like between 80, 80 to 105 apparently. Okay. So um, just another option, you know, more expensive, but a lot more affordable uh, than the VMAX. Um, then there's this card too. Um, this is older, much older card, right? We're getting XY era. Um, but you've seen a tick up on this, right? 10%. Um, so it's just one of those things where, and it's not as cool as the VMAX, but you see, um, yeah, 60% in the last six months. Like, what is it on the year? Like 70, 70%. So this card's ran quite a bit. Um, but the VMAX, the VMAXs, those, those alt arts can carry other cards. So um, just another option for you guys to look at. Um, then, of course, we had the Lugia, and I think the Lugia has, like, the least amount of good modern options, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this card, I really like this artwork, though, and, and the it's great. Um, don't have one, um, but you guys can see these are still, like, kind of affordable. I mean, it depends what you're looking at. I guess this is a little bit misleading with some of these sales. You're looking in like the $200 range, right? Um, so compared to the, you know, the Guaranteed and the Umbreon, obviously more affordable. But um, the alternate, so this card, once again, a lot more common. It's an Arita 
artwork. I like, I love this artwork, like in a way that like this doesn't have. I really like, like this. So it's a lot more common. I mean, super cheap, like three bucks. But like, you're telling me you couldn't see this card being between five and ten dollars at least. Like, that seems like the low side. I mean, I don't know. I think it's super cool. Um, I did, I did pull one of these um, a long time ago. But anyways, um, another great alternate card for you guys um then we got another rainbow you know uh, a bit more expensive we're in the 20 dollars range here same story different card right room to run um lost uh lost, excuse me not lost origin silver tempest got room to run okay silver tempest is going to be one of those that's going to be one of the next sets right and then we got the same card but in the gold okay uh 16 16 to 20 dollar range um this did see a run up and now it's coming back down so um might want to let this one uh let this one simmer for a bit maybe but um it's just it's just the same thing guys people people are gonna they want the next thing that has a chance to run um and nobody wants to really like get buy a bunch of cards that are super expensive they'd rather if you can get a bunch of these more affordable cards grade them whatever you want just hold them um it's a good option so um, that's kind of going to do it for this one. I just wanted to touch on big alt arts and affordable options. I feel like I gave a decent amount for all of them. Um, if you guys want, like, let me know in the comments. I can do, like, we can do it however you want. We can do, um, I can include some vintage um, alternatives if you want. I don't think that's really very popular right now. But, um, you know, our... Let me know. Just let me know. I'm I'm down to. I like digging into these cards and stuff. And you know, it's it's nice to see um, the prices and hear people talk about just what what's out there and and get somebody else's opinion on where some cards could go. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, I had fun making this one. Uh, if you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, do me a huge favor. If you could go down and subscribe, hit the thumbs up while you're there. I would really appreciate it. Um, I've gotten some really really kind comments over the past few weeks. I greatly appreciate it. You guys know who you are. Um, so thanks for always commenting, making it to the end of the video. Um, but yeah, Sword and Shield's popping. Everything's popping. Here's some uh, alternative plays for you guys, collectors or investors. Um, that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, it was never a phase.